What's up guys, this is The Rifleman, and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So, to round off happened last time, um, I mopped up some Turkish looting forces in this area of Turkey. And we also made peace with Sweden. So they've left my territories, but they keep trying to negotiate for Finland, which I'm not going to give them. And I don't have the money to, uh, to uh, upgrade, some, to build some towns. And I've also got to build farms. Lots and lots of farms. Three turns to do that, six turns to do that. Let's do this. Flying shuttle. Um, for the quick... For the quick wins. Well, either of these, actually. Spinning mule is plus eight percent. Yeah, yeah, spinning mule gets me to upgrade the buildings. Cool. Whereas puddling, melt, puddling furnace was six turns, so for the price of one of the next tier of iron... No. For the price of one... The next upgrade in iron furnaces, um, I can I could have got two upgrades in textile manufacturing. I think I'd rather take that. I'd rather take two bonuses than one big one. Um, even, even more so, if more than anything, it's just for uh, you know me nice to be able to tick off a few a few wins, as it were. So we've, got, we've got chickens and I'm just looking at them outside the window. Um, it's a bit windy, a bit cold, but they seem happy. Well, they seem content at least. How can you tell if a chicken's happy? We did have a chicken that did used to uh, hop up on your leg and it would fall asleep on you and you just stroked it. It just loved attention, which was nice, but she's dead. Because, you know, chickens are chickens. They're not renowned for having long life. Nice shiny new Ottoman flag. Do not. No, don't. Oh, don't give me another army to deal with. Well, that army needs to get their ass back to Turkey. I need to recruit some more line as well to help uh, help beef up their defences. Hmm. There you go. So they're regrouping up to the north. Oh, I'm going to have to chase them down with my their offers. See, this is all naval tech they're offering me. And a, a little bit of money, but I don't I don't want it. I'm not interested in naval tech at the minute. I haven't got the money. Right. There is unused land. Yep, there's lots of land suitable for farming. See, do I now just bring them all the way? It'll take a, f a long, lot of, lot of turns to come down, but do I just bring them down? Recruit new general. Right, mop up you. And try and mop up you. See, you got lots of traits. Confident general, corporal and gold braid, and plus one command. As an attacking general, so one battle. Igor Nitkin, Nitkin. Right. So what I've got to do? Get you back to Anatolia. Get you replenishing. So if he wants to head up here and raid, that's fine. Um, I might just get this army general. Radomir Dobchev, Dobchev, Dobchev. Then recruit. Ooh, fusiliers. They look rather cool. How many can I have? 15 of those. Hmm. Do I just recruit a fusilier army? No, they'll take too long to get here. I need something quicker. You can't recruit anything but militia. You have a colonial line if I upgrade that, but... Hmm. So what's the closest unit of line I can get? One, four. Turn of recruitment, turn to get here. Oh. Oh, it's money, 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 money. That's what it's all about. Well, I'm going to need some some more line down here anyway, so. Because these guys can knock them out. 
and then move up and take one of these stacks. I'd like to have one army sat here to at least be able to try defend. Let's see, governor's residence, so I can try and get some more income from this region, because not that much. 900? It's not bad, but... I still haven't recruit. Right, I definitely need just to pull this army out of here and get them actually doing something. So... Let's recruit a sloop. A sloop to pick them up, drop them off down here, or maybe even threaten Istanbul. They get a reasonable garrison plus that army. I might just drop them off to fight a stack, clear this area out. Just clear it out. Have an army put on in Istanbul and Sofia. Well, if I knock out Istanbul, I'm ready, I'm ready to declare peace. Well, Istanbul. Istanbul, and I will cease fighting in here. Push down, take Damascus, Jerusalem, and Cairo. Then I'm just ready to call it peace. Baghdad's growing. 511, not bad. Could be better, but... You could spend the game just not doing anything based on could be betters. So. Research is good. Diplomacy is good. Do you not just want to do trade? Just trade. Fair enough. Indifferent with the Italian states. Request trade? No. Just trade. No, not doing that. Fine. Genoa, we're not friendly, but do you want to trade? Yeah, go on. Open. Chris Trade Agreement. Pay. Offer. That. Nope. Not giving you anything. End turn. Not handing over any of my territories. No way, no how. Won't happen. Unless it was something particularly good they were offering in return. Like if someone was offering me colonial stuff, like an island in the Americas, maybe. But then again, how useful is that? That will just string me out. I won't have the resources to spend to defend the trade lanes, so... You know, why bother? Spain can't decide if it wants to embark or not. Yeah, 14 grand's good. I'm at plus four. Plus 4,000 a turn from since the last, last. Well, since the start of the session, which is good. Um, right. Poland's still being Poland. Poland still exists. That's what matters. That's what I'm. That's what I'm interested in, interested about. Oh god. More damn raiding Ottomans. God, and I can spend so much money. So many things I can spend money on in, in in Russia. That's right. You run away and just start raiding things. Raid away, raid all you like. There you go, not got How about no tech? There we go. No tech, just trade. Good. I need money. If I can get money, I can be fine. I mean, I, I suspect... Well, see, if I get money, I'll be fine. What I mean is is that uh, I will be able to put the money I get to better use to be able to beat Sweden. So while we're there both gaining... Land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help... The trade agreement cancelled with Spain. Shame. Uh, well, let's knock you out. Um, not, mm, do I threaten Damascus? I think I do. Because what I want to do is get this navy pick up this army get them to board recruit a handful of garrison troops drop them off up here and 
and get ready to wage war. Then get the get the, the entirety of the Russian navy back to port. <laughs> right. All right. Next layer of buildings in Baghdad. Let's get you a grand opera house. There's no point spawning gentlemen down here because I have no I have no school. Yeah. Let's do a bit of farm spending. Oh, and I've still got those darn empty villages. Yeah, right. Let's get you a craft workshop and get you a another craft uh, smiths and another smiths. Right, there we go. Lots of growth. 19,000 next turn, even though I've lost trade agreement. I'm getting 19,000. I'm trading with so many people. It's keeping me on lots of people's, like, not not happy list, but not shit list. Two troops in Georgia. Cool. Yeah, if I go down and threaten, threaten Damascus. Um... Send a bunch of units out to take them out. Just stop them from being a pain. Ugh. Or just keep being a pain just further away. Let's get them back to Anatolia. To Ankara, rather. Mentioned the dispatches. Tax farmer. Plus 4% global tax income. I believe you might even hit him. Um, what was it, you? Hmm. Yeah, just leave them alone. Then <laughs> must have got excellent navy. <laughs> excellent navy coming, no navy. Probably he's got nothing to do. Excellent. Keep going with the agricultural ones. I've got lots of agriculture in Russia. I might just let it keep going. Um, well, no, I've already got one doing happy tech, one doing industrial, one doing agricultural. No military stuff, but I don't have a great arsenal and new model bayonet drill. Ooh. Gives me good stuff and plus and bonuses for charging. So next, so one that's finished, that industrial one's finished. I'll go on to, oh. I'll go on to new model bayonet drill to get the charge bonuses because I am doing a lot of charging. How's Crimea doing? Are you happy? Well, you don't have any religious upset, so I might move you. There you go. You have religious upset. see how you change straight away yep good yeah so they're not entirely converted but 90% it's pretty good pretty pretty homogenous just need to create she get some water pop out actually and then start converting um, Chechnya Baghdad Iraq Azerbaijan cool right end turn Whoa. No. Not giving you anything. Nothing. <laughs> You're getting zilch from me, Austria. You're at war with my ally. I don't know why Spain uh, cancelled trade agreement. I don't know why the AI does most of the stuff they do. Oh, they want trade and they're offering to give... Give me a flying shuttle and seize... Okay. You know what, Spain? Well, I'm going to let you have that. Because I think... Flying shuttle on its own is good. Selective breeding is fine. Happy to give you that. Um, but that's nice. And the naval, naval tech's just bonus. A bacon bits to the overall trade agreement. Cool. Even more money. I need to invest in Russia. All of it. <laughs> and um, get some measuring tools so I can try and get metal roads. Because that way. Oh, oh God. Right, they've pulled a stack out of their backside. Could be the end of Baghdad. The only thing is if they capture it, they'll smash everything down. So I might cancel building everything that's being built. Because if they capture it, they will smash it all down. And that's a real pain. Let's 
procedure, selective breeding, giving me measuring tools and a grand. Yes. You can have that. So I was just talking about how I need measuring tools. They say how Alexa's listening. Turns out it's actually the Swedes. Hopefully Sweden declares war on Germany. Prussia, rather. Germany. There is unused land suitable for farming. Right, let's go all the way over here. How much of a worry are you? Quite a rare worry. How much line inventory? Not much at all. Right. You need to chase down that army. It won't be fast enough, but it might give maybe enough to make them worry, I would think. Right, lots of money. See how many economic buildings I can... Right. Let's pump you back out to fight them. Got him. What I have enough money to do now is to actually send these guys out here. Oh, I still can't really recruit much of a defence, but I can recruit some colonial militia. Uh, get this army to head. I'll see if you can speed to Baghdad next turn to at least garrison it. Because I don't think I have walls. No, it's defenceless. Oh, does that mean I've got two church schools? I do. Burn that one down. Cool. You keep chasing down them. Economic upgrading. Repair. Repairing. Built, built, built. There you go. The Russian tax base is building up. Oh, upgrade that. Great you. Mm, no, not while the Ottomans might take you back. Same with you. Ooh, palatial estates are unlocked. And that's yeah, palatial estate in Moscow. That sounds like a good bet. Do I have any others? Special estate job. You're just too far away to get down here meaningfully. I could send you down here to start. Oh, actually, I might do that. Yeah, oh, do I? Don't really want to extend my line. I'd like to come up at it from this direction. Right. Might, make not, might not make much sense, but it makes sense in my head. 19 grand next turn. All of my cotton's being cut off. Somehow. Oh, someone's blockading me. Somewhere. Um, you're not ideal. Cool. Upgrade that. Nice. Make Anatolia more of a functioning town. Tech advances. So you are going to do new model bayonet drill. You are going to do cadence marching. I need more map speed to cover my territory. Uh, where were you? Recruitment, Georgia. Could be a lot of running around. But if I can him they can take out that stack. They can take on this stack. This stack can take on I've got three stacks running around. Um I could actually maintain a fourth if I recruited it sufficiently. That would be an interesting proposal. 
Hmm, just need to make sure that I don't get caught out running around all over the territory. No, I don't want military access, Austria. I can get at whoever I want to get at. Hmm. So now Poland's become the new Ottoman Empire. The AI has to just bundle up, <laughs> bundle up armies. Oh, that's right. Good. They are actually sending them away. Good. They've retreated back. Well, the AI could have completely played me. They threatened Baghdad to get me to pull back from Jerusalem. And it worked, but I'd rather keep Baghdad. Baghdad is a nice, strong base to push on. Oh, good. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, you can... I was about to tear it down. <laughs> you want to give me an irrigation? No, don't want it. Don't want naval shore facilities. That's the thing. If they want to uh, blockade me, all it is is just the the bake. The blockading me is just like the spring things on the top. They can blockade me all they like. It's not actually do anything. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Keep chasing. So, hmm, do I give you that? No, there's more priority thing, high priority things compared to uh, building, upgrading my port, because I don't have much to sell from it. Aha, Baghdad. Right, let's go down to you and let's uh, carry on where we left off. Yeah, infrastructure is an interesting thing to remember. So do I go up to, right, let's start the building at Moscow, met all the roads, and then let's spread out. Because roads aren't a massive boost, but they're a boost nonetheless. They're good for campaigns. Right, let's head south through the desert. Let's pull you back up. Let's pull you over to here. And then let's decide. I don't want to. Mm. Let's put them back inside. So my reasoning is if I move out to attack this stack, I will be weak. They will retreat. Then this army, next turn, can run in and attack Ankara. So if I sit here at least, it might force one of them, or both of them, to join me in one big fight. There you go. Relatively stable. I mean, yeah, relatively stable. Whew, it's never going to be easy, subduing the Turks like this. <laughs> Radio, but looking at time, I think that might be the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.